Now, ancient Rome's rulers, trying to keep the people happy despite debased currency and corruption, offered distractions and bribes. Uh, one Roman poet called it bread and circuses. And sometimes it was an actual circus or chariot races or gladiators sometimes fighting to the death. Now, America doesn't allow that yet. But sports economist J.C. Bradbury says government still does fund circuses. Today they take the form of sports stadiums. What do you, what do you mean? Well, it's a very common thing in a community where a politician says, boy, we really need something to pull our community together to keep us happy. And a sports stadium is just what we need because it's going to increase economic development. Community's going to rally around it, and we're all going to be richer. They say they'll pay for themselves. They don't. In Atlanta, the county would receive $200,000 per year in parking revenue. They got 30,000. Right, and that's for the Gwinnett Brave Stadium in Gwinnett County. And time after time, they said, we're going to get parking revenue. Didn't happen. We're going to get naming rights revenue. Didn't happen. Or they got much less than they said. It'll pay for itself from day one. Right, absolutely. And, the, and these facilities never do. And, and the thing I think that's so frustrating for me to see this is that it's been studied so much. Politicians have Yeah, I thought you won this fight. Economists like you have explained <laughs> it. You say, gee, the football team has eight home games a year. How's right. that going to be economic stimulus? Well, let's go back to the bread and circuses comment. I mean, that is not a positive comment about human species. <laughs> that's saying that they're being placated. Oh, just give them bread and circuses. And the citizens of Rome were giving up some of their freedoms because politicians gave them the things they wanted. And I think citizens today, they like sports. Sports are popular. And so... You say, well, why don't I just go ahead and support this stadium? I'm not going to punish a politician for supporting it. So let's go back to the Rome parallel, because our stadiums do pale compared to what they did. The gladiators, this was entertainment to keep the people pacified because they were getting ticked off? Well, I don't even, not even just that they're, that they're ticked off, but it's just some form of entertainment to distract us from other things that are going on. If I know that a politician put a football team on the field and I like football, I'm really going to focus on that. I'm not going to focus on the declining schools. I'm not going to focus on the roads falling apart or other things that may be going on. And maybe some of those things politicians really can't help, but it's certainly something that individuals and citizens can focus on and say, this is a positive thing for our community and that's why they're so popular among politicians. Some of the things I've learned at this conference, that most gladiators were slaves or prisoners of war. 90% of them survived the fight because it would be expensive to the owner of the slave if they were killed? Right, I believe if, if, if you end up, the, the slave was killed, that you'd have to pay the owner. <laughs> so you didn't want them to. I mean, this was, this was the type of entertainment for the time. And at the time, seeing death on the streets every day wasn't something that was that uncommon. So it's something that people enjoyed and wanted to see. And, you know, we have, luckily we have much more uh, pacifistic sports, if you want to use that word. And we don't have death. And in fact, we're trying to make our sports safer. So it, it's sort of the difference in the way that we view those competitions today than they were once viewed. The arrogance of the emperors increased. In 169 BC, 63 African lions and leopards, 40 bears, elephants were hunted down in a single two-day show. Tigers, crocodiles, giraffes, hippopotamus, they would bring them in from all over the world to kill them, and the emperor would sometimes kill them himself. Well, I mean, today we have sausage races, uh, club seats, luxury boxes. So, we, we, you know, it's, but it's definitely the same thing. It gets more and more extravagant. And that's the same type of attitude that they had in the Roman Empire that we have today.